Hi, pipe smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy live from Rochester, New York, and we have a Mr. Brog pipe review for you. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have any bush beer. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, and I can't have any bush beer because I have to run uh, my neighbor down to pick his car up at 5.30, so <laughs> no cheers. No, I won't even have one beer and drive, sorry. Anyways, back to the pipe. Uh, it is a Mr. Brog pipe, handmade in Poland. And this one feels pretty hefty, and oh my goodness. What do we have in the box? Look at that. A hexagon-shaped pipe, and when I tell you this is one big chunk of wood, it's a big chunk of wood. Let me give you the dimensions first. The overall length, and I'm measuring it from the very tip to the mouthpiece on this hexagon pipe, is 6.25 inches long, so not extremely long. Uh, the outer bowl, depending on where you measure it, from here to here is 1.75 inches long. And from here to here is two and one eighth inches long. Uh, the inner bowl is seven eighths, and I'm measuring this from the side, not here, seven eighths of an inch thick, which is just shy of three quarters of an inch thick. You're not going to have burnout with that. Uh, the inner bowl is seven eighths of an inch wide, so it's just shy of one inch wide. And the bowl depth is two inches deep, so you can fit a lot of tobacco in there. Now, it's made from uh, <clears throat> acacia wood. A-C-A-C-I-A. -A -A. Uh, but then lower in the description, it says it's made out of pearwood blocks. So I'm guessing it's Acacia pearwood would be my best guess. And off the Mr. Brog website, that's what they said. It's made from the finest Acacia wood. And then below in the description, it says it's made of very large pearwood blocks. And really, to me, when I first got this, I thought it was oak. It's hard to see on the video, but to me, it really almost looks like oak. But it's not. So, let's see what it has for its internal components. And I suspect a pipe this big. And they do call it Architect. A-R-C-H. Uh... Pardon me. A I C H I T E K T. And it is a bowl number 307 natural. <clears throat> it also comes in a mahogany finish too, and you can pick this up for about 44 bucks plus shipping. Uh, so let's get this out a nice snug fit. And yes, a 9mm filter, which. I just throw these right back in the box. I do save them with the original pipe. So what I'd like to do is uh, pause the video and put half a bowl or so in this number 307 architect pipe. And uh, we'll light her up and see what we think. So great drop. With that filter in, you get about half as good as a draw. So I'll be right back. I'm going to load it up with something that'll burn good. Okay, and we're back. And so uh, I've loaded the Architect number 307 Natural Mr. Brog pipe up with something I haven't smoked in a while, <clears throat> a long while. Some Lane 1Q that's aged for almost a year. In a mason jar and for this pipe you can see the bottom of it it looks like a Noah's Ark coming at you <clears throat> you're definitely gonna need a pipe stand uh, there's no other way it's not gonna stand up on its own it's gonna flip right out and spill your blend all over the place so without further ado uh, our 
Mr. Bragg, architect, bowl number 307, natural. And like I said, it also comes in a mahogany color, but I like the natural. Let's light her up. Ah, just a great draw. <coughs> hmm. That's a big block of wood to have in your hand. I read you the dimensions. I can't even fit my fingers around this bowl. And I don't have small hands. Almost can touch them if I stretch them. Oh, this Lane 1 Q after... Aging for almost a year certainly tastes good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just a great draw. Now keep in mind the first couple bowls that you smoke out of pearwood. You may or may not be able to taste the wood. If you do, it's not unpleasant. It just has like a little wood, tiny wood taste to it. So, you know, you smoke a couple, two, three bowls out of them, and that goes away. I own several pair pipes now. Mm. That pipe will command attention. That thing is big. Mm. I I would recommend, and my pair of pipes, I try to smoke, you know, something like Lane One Q or Scotty's Butternut Burley or some, or even just well, I don't smoke regular Burley, but you can. Something that's a good burning tobacco that's going to at least char that bowl somewhat so you do get rid of the little tiny, tiny bit. Some people won't even taste it. In fact, I never even knew that pearwood had a taste to it until someone told me about it. Oh, yeah. A great smoker. Good luck getting it into your pipe rack, though. That's huge. It's like this other Mr. Brog that I did a review on. Both huge pipes. Uh, but I like this one a lot. It really, really feels good in the hand. Mm. So, we have our Mr. Brog, number 307, Architect Pipe, uh, natural. Like I said, it is available in a mahogany finish also, and you can get them for about 44 bucks is all. What a great value. Like I said, the fit and the finish on all Mr. Brog pipes are just great. Uh, this is an interesting pipe. I like it. This one's definitely getting a honey treatment. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our review. I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Anxious to have a couple bush beers. Yes. Happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers. I hope you enjoyed the review. Have a great evening. Over and out. <laughs>